Hey guys and welcome back to the JTO channel. Come on! And in this video, this is your match review. <laughs> this is your match review of Arsenal 0, Chelsea 2. Honestly, this game was like what can I say? It was such a professional performance from the from the Chelsea and we weren't even at 100% today. We were like at 50%. And that was, for me, one of the best things about this performance today. Lukaku, world class, man. The difference in that guy and what he brings to us is unbelievable. Reese James, best right back in the league. I've already said it for time. But before we get into these players and why our performance was so professional, and if you're gassed as well, if you are gassed that we finally beat Arsenal, yeah, last time we beat Arsenal was under Frank Lampard. 2-1 uh, away. Remember, Tammy Abraham with the goal in that. Since then, we haven't beaten them. We drew at Stamford Bridge and then we've lost the other two. You get me? So if you did enjoy this video, if you do enjoy this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Follow my social media down below and share this video as well. Let's get into it straight away. So obviously, Thomas Tuchel with the lineup. Um, obviously, I was still happy with it as always. I only got three places wrong. Um, I thought Trevor Choloba and Thiago Silva would start. Obviously, Mendy was in goal. But instead of Trevor Choloba and Thiago Silva, it was Aspilicueta and Andreas Christensen keeping their places in the side. And then Rudiger's left-sided centre-back. I obviously got Rhys James correct. He had to play at some point and today was absolutely brilliant. Rhys James was playing right wing-back. Marcus Alonso kept his place after his brilliant form recently at left wing-back. We kept the double pivot of Jorginho and um, Mateo Kovacic. Obviously, Kante... He ended up coming on and that. He, couldn't, he wasn't fit enough to start, but at least he was fit enough to get involved. And then in the front three, I thought Werner would start alongside Lukaku, but instead it was actually Havertz starting alongside Lukaku as Mount with the free roam type business, you understand? So, obviously, first 10, 15 minutes, in my opinion, um, I'm not going to say we weren't great. We were just in third gear. We were in third, second gear. We weren't really, like, you know, at our best, best. But Arsenal, on the other hand, they were trying today. Like, I was seeing them give their 100% impressing on the ball. You know, the atmosphere was trying to lift them up and give them boosts. But the difference in quality between our teams is just like, it's just like this, bro. Like, we're here. Like, you know, we're out the screen. Yeah, and Arsenal are like here, bro. Just below the screen. Do you understand? And honestly, like, we didn't have to be 100% today, like I said, because with Arsenal, they just don't have the quality like we do. We started off slow, but we let them have the ball. We were like, let's see what you can do. And they didn't do anything. Every time they got through, the defence just easily dealt with it. Rudiger, Aspilicueta, Reese James, we dealt with it easily. Jorginho in the midfield, dealing with it time after time after time. And then, honestly, after 10 minutes, that's when we started to... You know, up the tempo a bit. Still not 100%, but we started to up the tempo, you know. We're, we're, we're getting in behind them, you know. We're breaking their press so easily. The amount of space Kai Havertz and Mason Mount were getting on the half turn was ridiculous. And you wonder why they're getting it? Two things. One, Arsenal's press is shocking. And two, Lukaku. The big man, Lukaku. Now, let's get into the goal. So, obviously, what happened was um, the ball, I think, went in. And then, obviously, I think the Arsenal defender dealt with it. And then Mateo Kovacic, on the ball, he sees Rhys James in so much space. Tierney today could not deal with Rhys James. Mateo Kovacic, chip over the chip through ball. Rhys James with the touch, puts it in. Lukaku is there, tapping. And we don't score enough tappings. And that's why I love those goals. Like, those goals, they're the best goals to score. Even though they're easy. Even though you can say they're the most simple, but they're the best to score. Because it's a way that you've broken down the team. You make it look easy, but it comes down to, you know, you having to break that defence, that defensive unit that Arsenal have, do you understand? And Tierney today was just way too in forward. I think, I don't know if Arteta got his team to focus on Lukaku today. And I said this on Matisse's stream, like, players are going to... Players and managers, yeah, that assess us are going to focus on Lukaku so much, it's going to be ridiculous. To the point where there's going to be so much space for others. Like I said, Mason Mount and Kai Havertz on the half turn today, in the middle of the park, getting so much space. Time after time after time again. And obviously, Reese James, like I said, puts the ball in. Lukaku there for a tap-in. No one's anywhere near him. And yeah, and can I just say on Lukaku, let me just get into Lukaku real quick, yeah? He bodied Mari today. Today, this was the perfect debut. The, I couldn't have asked for a better debut. I actually couldn't have asked for a better debut. If this is him now, 
and I don't even think he's 100% fit. <sighs> Boy, uh, be scared. Rivals, be scared. I promise you, be scared. Because Lukaku, I was saying in my preview, obviously Ben White was not available today, tested positive for COVID, unfortunately. Hope he recovers soon. Um, but today, I, I knew that Lukaku would target Mari because I said in my preview yesterday, with the way he wants to play, he's going to be on Mari's side and he's going to target him. And he just kept, he's back to goal. He, oh, he just kept on bullying him, bullying him. You know, for the goal, if you saw the replay, oh my God, there was an angle where Lukaku was about to tap it in and Mari's on the floor. I started laughing. It was hilarious. Mari was a disgrace today. He made me, he made me believe that I can still be a footballer. That's how bad he was today, bro. I'm not saying I'm bad at football, by the way. I'm not trying to disrespect myself, but like, bro, if you saw Mari's performance today, yeah, bare man, yeah, could think they could still make it in football because that's how bad he was today. That is how shocking he was today. He didn't really go for holding as much. It made sense. Go for the weaker one. Mari kept on going, kept on going at him. You know, not only can Arsenal not deal with strikers airily, they can't even handle them when they're, when they're trying to, you know, push onto them. When Lukaku is getting the ball to feet back to goal, his dribbling was insane today. You know, him... He's, he's holding up the ball and waiting for others to come, like Mason Mount, Kai Havertz, in which that created more chances. Rhys James on the overload, Marcus Alonso on the overload, every single time. And then for the second goal. The second goal, oi, combination between Alonso and, and uh, Kai Havertz, to be honest, I don't know how Kai Havertz managed to get around that situation. It looked like he was going to lose it, but he managed to give it to Marcus Alonso. Once again, we're in bare space. Bare space, bro. Lukaku's in bare space. Lonzo fizzes it into Lukaku. Lukaku gives it to Mason Mount. Tierney, once again, inwards for some reason, leaving Reese James so much space. And Mason Mount with an open play ball to Reese James, you know, for once. Mason Mount gives an assist that's not in set pieces, which people are hating on him for that. I mean, I don't get it personally, but look, Mason Mount, through ball, Reese James, great touch, fizzes it into the top corner. What a goal that was. And after that, we just controlled the game. We controlled the game. Now, the one negative I will say for today is I wanted more goals and we should have scored more goals. But in to be fair, in defense of that, it didn't look like we were even trying to get a third goal. It was like if the opportunity arises, then like try in it. You know, I think Thomas Tuchel just said in the second half, just relax, you know, just keep the ball for now. We'll see this game off. And if there's an opportunity that arises, just keep playing. We kept on playing. But the intensity wasn't as high. We weren't as much trying because we already had the game won after that first half. We had already won the game. I had no doubt in my mind. And like I said with Arsenal, they tried their hardest today. But what, what was their problem? Quality. They brought on the likes of Aubameyang, Balogun. They didn't do anything. And our defence, I wouldn't even say our defence was, was at 100% either. Like I said... We didn't have to break a sweat. And that was the best thing about this performance today. We didn't have to break a sweat. The, Lukaku obviously got man of the match. And like I said, oh, I can't, I can't say enough of this review, honestly. Like, Jorginho today, he's a different beast. Different beast, man. Like, I love that guy so much, bro. And he's someone I've had to defend for so long, you know, since he literally came in. And he is literally playing that Regista role. Like, you can play a Regista role and it doesn't even have to be in like a 4-3-3 three, three type thing. It can be in this system. And Jorginho was exactly doing that today. So, i got to say, Jorginho was immense today. Kovacic, you got to give him credit for the ball over the top for Reese James to fizz it into Lukaku. And like I said, if we get enough of those tap-ins, trust me, we will score a lot of goals. And yes, we didn't take our chances today. Ziyech came back and made a few poor decisions. The guy doesn't want to use his right foot. I mean... It comes down to not practicing your right foot from a younger age. And the fact that he's 28 years old, it just shows he doesn't trust his right foot because he he barely used it in his prime year. Well, not prime years because he is in his prime, but he barely used it in his younger years. Do you understand? So, yeah, Kai Havertz, he was solid today, as always. The, like I said, the back line didn't have to break a sweat. Rudiger, Christensen, and Aspie, it was calm. Yeah, a mistake here or there from a Rudiger who gave the ball away, but then we clean sweeped again. Christensen was calm on the ball today. Aspilicueta at times got outpaced, but he's got cover everywhere. You know, when Mendy needed to come out, Mendy came out. One thing I'll give Arsenal credit for is they beat us airily today at times. I thought airily Arsenal were good in the air. They handled us in corners um, and in set pieces. They had a few chances. That was their best way. That was their best chances of scoring, literally from set pieces. Arsenal just today, 
quality's not there, but they tried. Chelsea, quality is there, and we didn't have to try today. If we were 100%, we would have beaten them 5 0 today. So I'm really proud of this performance. I'm proud of the boys. Onwards and upwards, top of the league, mate. Top of the league. And for once, Reese James as well. Let me just get into this real quick. Reese James terrorized Teeny because Teeny recently has been all over Reese James. And I said, hopefully tomorrow, Reese James can get the better of Teeny. And he got the better of Teeny today. Yeah? Mason Mount doing Mason Mount. We were brilliant today. And brilliant, but in a way that the intensity wasn't even here. It was like here. We were at 50% today. And that's, that's pretty much the main point of this review. Do you know what I'm saying? And obviously, I'm going to do a player ratings video later on today. Um, well, not later on. Literally, right after this video is uploaded, I'll be making another one. Doing a player ratings. We'll obviously delve deep into why each player, you know, why they get high rating, you understand. And um, the, the manager as well, Thomas Tuchel, getting his tactics absolutely spot on. If you did enjoy this video, people, please like. Comment your thoughts on the game. If you thought Lukaku had an absolute belt of a debut. Reese James, absolutely fantastic. Terrorising Tini down that left left hand side you know what i'm saying so um yeah guys if you did enjoy like i said like comment subscribe turn on those post notifications follow my social media down below and tell me just your thoughts on the game and uh, yeah share this video i'll see you guys later on for my player rings video where i talk about all the players plus the manager and yeah guys i'll see you lot then peace